okay so i have my shredded chicken over there some chopped pepper and onion it would have helped if i had like you know the rainbow one but eh, i only had the green pepper but if you have the rainbow that would be much better what i usually do now is that i will take my mayo and then i mix it in the pasta first because for some reason i feel like when you mix it that way you don't add as much mayo because you know who wants to eat dry pasta you feel me so i'm gonna add this much and then i'll see if it's enough and then i'll add more okay so that seemed perfect i feel like i even added more than enough actually okay so i mix it in until the pasta is fully covered like so and then now i will go to my chicken meal i will add in the chicken so i added in the chicken right and then now to season it i'm gonna add this usually i don't season on top because i would have boiled my chicken with the seasoning but i forgot to add the seasoning while boiling the chicken so the seasoning just a little bit and then my peppers and onions like so and then lastly we add in the mayo Like I said, you can always add more. You see, the reason why I said it would have helped if it was like, you know, the colorful peppers is because it would have looked nicer. You feel me? I'm going to add in just a little bit more mayo. You see, one thing about chicken mayo is that it takes a lot of mayo. Chicken mayo, tuna, all of that. A lot of mayo is used. Okay, a lot of mayo is used. And I think I might have added too much. Yes, that is too much. But that's okay though, because I'm the only one eating this. Okay. Like that. And then, now we mix our... Um, Pasta in. Okay. You could do it in a separate bowl and then you add in the pasta first, but do it minimizing the cleanup so I'm gonna use one bowl hold on let me mix this off camera okay so when you satisfied that it's been mixed and the chicken is you know everywhere then it's ready to eat you see quick and easy thing to do with the leftovers there we go